And his last clip here comes by way of Scott Galloway. Found us on YouTube. Um, it's titled Terrible Advice for Young People, um, which is a terrible title, but you'll see from the actual clip itself what he's getting at. Scott, why is it more important to find your talent than your passion, as you suggest in your book? Oh, yes. What a great, interesting point. Yeah, I read, find your talent over your passion. Anyone who tells you to um, follow your passion is already rich. <laughs> this is true. That's true. <laughs> it's good, right? It's true. And, and the guy telling you to follow your passion made his billions in iron ore smelting. No. This is your job. <laughs> your job is to find your talent and then develop mastery. And in an industry that has a 90 plus percent employment rate, you want to be a model, an athlete, an actor, just keep in mind, if you don't get bright signals from a very early stage that you're in the 0.1%, which Don is, find an industry that's boring, that you can develop mastery. You know what you're going to become passionate about? Making a shit ton of money so you can take care of your kids and your right. parents. This, it, is, it, is, it is terrible advice for young people. Yeah. So, yeah, I that, that was cool. I mean, that's entrepreneurship, though, right? Right. And there's probably not a ton of people who are like super inspired by HVAC, <laughs> but they're, they're good at it. You know, my brother's, I use my brother as an example of this. He has always been very skilled with his hands. He'd rather work outside, do hard labor than he would. He's not a white collar guy at all, but he found this passion for landscaping and sprinklers. Right. <laughs> and so he literally has a sprinkler like wrench that he carries with him screwdriver everywhere and he'll just like tune up people's sprinklers as we're walking by right because he's really good at it he understands how to put the whole system together the yard the plants that need to go into it and he can run these crews and like take something that's ugly and turn it into something beautiful and as a byproduct of that he's become passionate his talent is he's very good at that type of thinking right the mechanical mind and then he's developed that along with, you know, as, as he was growing up, he was working projects and jobs with my dad and developed some project management skills and some leadership skills. So he's been managing subs for a really long time. And so it has become his passion, right? Cause he's dang good at it. I've talked to him a bunch. Like, are you sure you want to keep doing this? You know, and don't, don't you want to go to school and, you know, maybe go get a construction management degree or something like that and level up. He's like, no, I'm not, I'm like at the top of the food chain within this organization. And I have a real opportunity to potentially take it over or buy them out or something like that in the future. And so this is a tremendous point. You know, Love people it. go to school and they're like, I'm going to study the orcas or the <laughs> sea mammals. You know, it's like, okay, cool. That's, I get it. You're passionate about that. But I can promise you, you won't be very passionate about it when you're making $20,000 a year. You know, I have a minor in protesting. 